Have you seen people doing this? Well, this is KZ, a mode in CS2 where you move and jump around the map to reach an end goal. Players recommend it because it's fun and has a great community, although not anymore because it has pretty much died since the release of CS2 as of now. There is also another movement mode called Surf, which is basically where you are sliding on different sloping surfaces to reach an end goal. Many says that all this will improve your movement which will be carried over to the usual competitive 5v5 mode. This is definitely true if you are newer in the game, maybe if you are below 10k premier rating or below face it level 4. It will help you to understand the movement mechanics of the game such as strafing and also get you accustomed to moving your mouse and pressing the right keys at the right time. But for anybody higher than that, unless you're just having fun and not trying to use this to improve your movement, this is going to just be a waste of time. Instead, it's a lot more efficient to practice specific simple movement mechanics one by one until you have mastered it all. For example, strafing, crouch jumping, ladder mechanics of going up and down fast, and many more. You'll be surprised how many high rank players still do not know how to climb ladders fast and are still using only one movement key to go up. I'm not going to go through all of the movement mechanics in this video because there are already a lot of amazing tutorials out there which explain all of this in detail. Just search it up and start practicing. Once you have mastered the movement mechanics, start practicing map specific jumps such as the Mirage window to be short jump, the Inferno balcony to top of pillar solo boost, and many more. Just practicing movement on KZ or Surf will not help you in making all of this jump no matter how many hours you put in it, simply because each of these jumps doesn't really require an insane long jump strafing technique or a super precise timing. Similar to basketball where if you want to improve your 3 pointers, training your arm strength might help if you are really weak. However, once you reach a certain strength level, training it some more wouldn't help you much anymore as compared to simply putting in the hours to practice throwing the ball. For example, the Mirage window to be short jump, you just have to know at which point do you have to jump, where to face after that, and a secret jump crouch bind with the right timing to land it. It's definitely easier said than done. It took me about 3 hours to now finally hit it consistently for about 9 out of 10 times. But now I can confidently hit it in actual game. Similar to the movement mechanics, amazing tutorials showing all of the famous jump or self boost that will actually be useful in matches have already been created. Don't worry about the tutorials being in CSGO version, it might look a little outdated and ugly, but most of the jumps are still the same. Do let me know down in the comments if you want me to create a video to show you all the tricks for each jump in CS2. Again, I'm not trying to bash on the KZ and Surf community, it has a great community and you should definitely give it a try. If you enjoyed playing it, keep playing. Personally, I have a lot of fun playing both of these modes, jumping around and moving in a way I don't normally do. It's especially satisfying when I managed to hit a jump that took me literally one hour to get it. Okay, I'm done. Oh, yes! Yes! I have also seen people say that it is a good wrist and hand warm up because you are required to move your mouse a lot. However, I just believe that for people that are solely looking to improve their movement, it's better to practice map specific jumps which will directly impact your game immediately. It might be frustrating at first, but trust me, once you get it, you got it for the rest of your CS career. Another essential game mechanics that you have to improve is your aim. Click on this video to see the aim routine created by an AI.